All right, well, hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Jakub, and today I want to talk to you about our research project and our product idea for uh, Hard ID, which is a unique hardware identifier for um, IoT devices. So, IoT devices are becoming very ubiquitous today with wearables, uh, smart watches, a lot of sensors. Um, and these uh, smart devices or IoT devices provide a lot of important data, such as in uh, health sensors, in hospitals, in um, electric grid, or even in your, in your smart home when you have a camera monitoring your front door or you have some sensors to, for intrusion. So these are not only um, IoT devices, but these should be uh, secure IoT devices. So all of this data that is um, provided by the devices needs to be secure and you need to be sure that the data you're getting uh, is actually authentic. So there's an addition requirement for the IoT devices to um, authenticate uh, themselves to a, to a central server or to a, or maybe even, to, to even yourself when you're receiving the data to prevent uh, fake data or bring fake devices from joining your, um, your network and providing you this data. So current solutions that are out there are based on sort of static fixed um, identifiers such as a MAC address, a barcode, or, a, or sort of a password. Um, and these are nothing more than just uh, some sort of bits that are stored in your computer that can be you know, easily copied, stolen, and most importantly they're not unique. So if you, once you get a, obtain a MAC address of one computer, you can basically program another computer with the same MAC address. So, there is no, um, no uniqueness. Um, and then the dangers of these um, identifiers is that if you can fake one of these barcodes or MAC addresses, uh, basically you can fake, the, um, fake to be a, an IoT device and you can provide fake data to, um, uh, to your, from your sensors or uh, you, know, you can bypass some access control lists and otherwise enter the, enter the network. And then so um, our advantage and idea for our product is to basically propose and provide a unique hardware identifier for IoT devices um, that cannot be faked and that is unique to every, so every device has a unique identifier that you cannot clone um, or copy. Um, and then the idea behind um, this research and this product is based on the fact that the, when you manufacture different devices, there are different unique uh, variations for each device. So even though the digital device might be each uh, has the same mass and you, uh, you try to manufacture each transistor and wire in each capacitor the same, when you actually get the silicon chip, there's small variations in the kind of widths, the, the, the sizes of the wires, the transistors, the sizes of the oxides. So uh, basically there's some small variations um, and then these variations can be used as the hardware identifier because even a uh, person manufacturing the devices cannot um, actually predict what the, what the exact variations are going to be in this um, specific chip. And then so the two applications that we are focusing on uh, is uh, authentication to authenticate the IoT devices to, to servers or other devices and uh, secure key storage to, sort, to securely store cryptographic keys. And that, so our technology is based on, uh, on DRAM, which is dynamic random access memory that you can find in um, pretty much every computing device. And the DRAM is composed of a, of a transistor and a capacitor where you store the data as some charge of the capacitor. And then the whole DRAM is an array of, um, of these transistors and capacitors. And once you store some data, you place some charge on the capacitor, and then over time, these charges will leak. So normally, the DRAM is refreshed automatically to prevent this uh, charge leakage, but if you disable the DRAM, uh, DRAM refresh, uh, you can observe a unique, um, a unique pattern or a unique fingerprint of the DRAM chip by observing the rate at which the different capacitors leak their data. So each one will uh, leak the data kind of um, independently and uniquely. And then so the status of our, our project is basically we have shown and demonstrated this on two different IoT devices, Intel Galileo um, and Engelboard. So this is just a picture of the two devices, but it can be applied to um, any computer device that has a DRAM chip on it. Um, and we developed some authentication uh, and key storage algorithms to actually show that you can take these uh, manufacturing variations in the DRAM chips and use them for uh, the practical, practical solution. So, um, so hopefully uh, I've presented to you a hard ID, which is a hardware identifier for IoT security. Um, it is unique. It's based on the idea that the, uh, the manufacturing variations cannot be cloned or even predicted by the manufacturer. Um, it does not add any cost to the existing devices as, as long as you have a DRAM module um, in your IoT device, in your smartphone or in your smartwatch there, you can already uh, use this idea. Um, also, it can be used at runtime, so there's no uh, certain solutions only work when you boot up the computer and then you store the identifiers, whereas our solution works at, um, at runtime. And again, there's no hardware modification, so uh, basically it's very easy to, um, to deploy. 
um, and then our, um, our idea and our plan for the, uh, for the potential product and the companies that uh, my student Wenjie, who's now a fourth year PhD student, has been working on this project uh, for a while, and myself, we can lead the development and design of the, um, of the, of the DRAM paths and also connect with our, some of our industry contacts. Um, and we hope to kind of expand by having um, two or more engineers work to create more demonstrations for the product on different platforms to make it more accessible and also develop a smartphone app. So again, a smartphone has a DRAM, so you can uh, deploy this on, a, on kind of pretty much any smartphone. Uh, and we also would need a marketing person to actually connect us to the, you know, to the customers and uh, make it uh, kind of uh, more, more appealing to the, to the customers. Um, and then our business model is, would be basically based on the IP, so we're in the process of uh, patenting um, this, um, this research idea, and then there are two paths for uh, commercializing. One is either uh, licensing to uh, bigger companies or two, deploying directly to, uh, to end users. So um, for the IP licensing model, basically hardware companies could leverage this as an extra security feature in their hardware, um, and we would sell the IP and provide basically consulting services to show them how to actually leverage it or use it. Or for the um, end user approach, Again, since you can deploy it on any hardware that has DRAM today, um, we could um, create a um, basically software that leverages the DRAM path and actually uh, make it available to end users. This would require more, uh, more engineering work and more uh, kind of uh, uh, bigger stuff, but it's, uh, it's an alternative to the, to the licensing option if, uh, if for some reason bigger companies are not, are not interested. Um, and to summarize, um, hard ideas about a hardware identifier for um, IoT devices that is physically unclonable, so you can't uh, change it or modify it or, or fake it. Um, it uses DRAM modules that you find in most computing uh, platforms today. Um, because based on DRAM, it's runtime accessible uh, and there's no hardware modification, so the cost is limited. And uh, this is hard ID. And then if you have any questions, uh, this is my email address, and I hope you can get in touch.